you about something that's really troubling me. Uh, I am a licensed funeral director in the state of Pennsylvania, and I see all the advertisements that you see, or many of you see, regarding casket purchases and vault purchases and advising you how funeral homes charge you exorbitant amounts of money. Uh, and, and I just want to show you something or explain something to you. Yesterday I had the privilege of meeting with a family that went to a cemetery in our area and purchased a mausoleum space for both husband and wife. In addition to that, the salesperson explained to them that if they purchased a casket from them, it would be very, very economical for them to do that at that time, as opposed to buying it at the funeral home. It truly doesn't matter to me where a client family purchases merchandise. It truly doesn't, because I don't rely on merchandise as a profit center, which you just shouldn't do. But this is so troubling to me, I have to make this video so you can understand what we see when we're looking at our extended market. So this family purchased two caskets. They are a, a what we would consider a low end, a low costing 20 gauge steel and non-gasketed means they do not seal. So they're somewhat economical. Uh, on our floor currently, we sell the equivalent to this casket that they purchased for $895 which is absolutely an economical purchase. I agree that that's a good choice for people that want to have something that looks nice, yet they want to remain as economical as possible. The problem is, at this cemetery, this commissioned salesperson sold them these two caskets for $9,100 total for two caskets that sell today here for $895 each. So what should have or could have cost that family $1,790, they paid or overpaid $7,310. $7,300 is a lot of money. I encourage everyone, please, when you're talking to a salesperson about funeral merchandise, or even if you're talking to a funeral home about funeral merchandise, step back. If someone's telling you to act today, and only today, to save money, it is quite possible that they are not being truthful to you. I encourage you to take a step back, check your prices, talk to a trusted friend. Have someone else help you evaluate the offer that you are being provided just to make sure that you are doing the right thing. And aside from that, if a salesperson convinces you to act today to save money, you typically have in Pennsylvania a window of opportunity that you may rescind your offer to participate in that contract. So as soon as you do this, you need to talk to somebody. Talk to a funeral home that you trust. Talk to a friend that you trust. And just make sure that you did the right thing. My best advice is step back and don't do anything if you're being pressured. But if you find yourself in a position that you have done this, please verify that information quickly within a day or so so you can comply with the law, send a registered letter, and cancel that transaction. I'm Michael, and uh, I hope that this has helped you some. Please share this information with others, and more videos just like this will follow soon. Thank you.